A countertop for a kitchen is modeled with the dimensions shown below. An 18 inch by 21 inch rectangle will be removed for the installation of the sink. What is the area of the top of the installed countertop to the nearest square foot? So in other words, we're looking for the area of the shaded region. Uh, and the best way to approach this is we're going to partition the area into um, recognizable shapes. And I immediately see here that draw, breaking this up into rectangles would be the most eff effective way to go. So since the overall length going across is, uh, or the overall width going across is 8, and this width over here is 2, 8 minus 2, that would make this guy right here also 2, and this guy right here, 6. Because the total width has to equal to 8. So to find the area of this L-looking shape without taking into account of the area of the sink, so let's um, let's do that. We're finding the area of the two, rec two larger rectangles. So that's 2 times 6 plus 2 times 5. And what we do with this is we got to add them together. And then uh, at the end, we're going to subtract that from, or we're going to subtract it by, rather not from, uh, the area of the sink. And notice right now the area of the sink is in units of inches. We're going to convert that into units of feet. So 18, feet, uh, 18 inches, right? We're going to convert that into feet. So should we be multiplying by 12 or dividing by 12? The best way to go about this is we recognize that in one foot, there are 12 inches. We want the units of inches to cancel. So for that reason, 12 has to go in the denominator there. So 18 inches into feet, 18 over 12, what is that? So I know 6 goes into uh, 18 and 12. So this is going to turn into 3 over 2, or 1.5. And I'm going to do the same thing with 21. So 21 over 12, uh, 3 goes into both, both 21 and 12. So I'm going to end up with uh, 7 fourths. And that is equivalent to 1.75. So what I'm going to do with the area that I found earlier, I'm going to subtract it by, by, by the product of 1.5 and 1.75. And now I'm going to enter all of that into the calculator. Um, so this is 12 plus 10 minus 1.5 times 1.75. So it's really 22 minus that product. So I want to enter that into the calculator. I'm going to end up with 19.375. So this is 19.375. And it says to round to the nearest square foot, so that would be 19 then and that would be option four.